hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for me. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, you guys know I'm away at the moment, so the setups will be um varied <laughs> shall we say um so please bear with me you guys know why i'm away i already posted it on the channel um so yeah without further ado let's get on with your reading i'll leave information regarding how to contact me for personal readings <laughs> i said let's begin so spirit's like stop talking uh fun times and money for gemini <laughs> stop talking i want to give them this message um, I'll leave information on how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. Younger male. Fun times. What are you up to, ladies? What are you up to? Some cougars out there. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so, true gem. The last card I pulled and I just turned it over, I was just like, what's on top? I don't know. I was just like, what's on top? And it's true gem. <laughs> So, um, you know, I feel like work hard, play hard. You're about to play hard. You've been doing a lot of work. You've been, you know, I guess, crushed, molded, put under pressure. Um, fun times are coming now, I feel like for you guys. Being a true gem, you can handle both sides of this, right? The hard side and the fun side. You guys will be doing both. <laughs> we'll be doing both here. Some of you, I feel, is getting a big rock. Uh, so, yeah, some of you are spending a lot of money here. Um, but it is a beautiful time to gain a lot of money. We will be heading towards your season, so you'll feel your vibration and all the positive energy uh, start to come in for you now. Um, trapped in fear, eight of swords. This is somebody thinking about you because you're moving on from those difficult times and um, because you've done the hard work. So this is somebody obsessing about you. Six of cups, somebody from your past obsessing about you. <laughs> you guys, uh, I don't do... Um, my face usually because my face does that <laughs> somebody from your past is returning I'm like so yeah firm foundation uh, somebody can't let go of you um, they may have put you through extreme difficulties um, real tough time and I mean a real tough time um, and now they can't stop thinking about you it's like what did I do what did I do um they may have even like used you for money or something here, took money from you and uh, that sort of thing left you sort of having to find answers on your own, I feel here. And now they're thinking, what did I do? What did I do? It doesn't mean you're going to be with this person or whatever. It's the general reading. Um, but this person is thinking about what the hell did I do? Um, I had a firm foundation, had somebody who cared about me, and what did I do? That's what I'm hearing. What did I do? Um, so they have that memories flooding back to them at this time. I'm not surprised. Mercury will be retrograding your season. It's going to be chaotic. Um, I feel for you guys, ten of wands, a lot of burden. Uh, they're feeling the pressure. That's what it is. So ten of wands jumped out. Now Ten of Cups, so they're seeing what they've lost and they're feeling the pressure from it. But Eight of Pentacles, we see you've done the hard work here. We see it very clearly that, um, you know, you've done the hard work. You may have even wanted them to return at one point. You may have been thinking about them at one time. Um, I feel like because they're thinking about you so much that these memories might come to your mind. Happy memories. Um, so it's like maybe letting go of the bad things that happened. So now there's these memories of the good that happened. The Six of Cups in a general reading is remembering things more fondly than they actually happened. Ten of Cups are uh, remembering things worse than they actually happened. And we see both here um, coming to an end because you're doing the spiritual work here. Um, you're getting yourself back on track and onto alignment here. Um, this person's going to double their effort with you. We go from the Four of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. 
So this person wants to be with you now. Um, I mean, what can we say? Have they done the work? They're spying on you. They're spying on you. So if you're posting like happy memes and things like that, like whatever people post on their Facebook, like what I post on my uh, YouTube, like positive things, they are looking at all of that. Um, I feel like somebody's looking from a fake account here. So if you've had some random ad and you're like, who is this person? It's a fake account spying on you. So they are just wanting to see, oh, are they happy without me? Are they having fun times without me? Um, this person, if they're not younger than you, but we did see the younger male card come out. Um, if they're not younger than you, they're certainly more immature in the way they communicate. They didn't communicate enough in the relationship. And now they are seeing the errors of their ways. They're seeing you as abundant. We'll take two, two turned over. <laughs> nine of cups and nine of pentacles here. They're seeing you better without them. Um, I guess because you've let go of the burden. Um, I guess your money, if certainly if they was taking money from you or, you know, costing you money in some sort of way, your money has improved here is a beautiful time during um, Taurus season to focus on finances and make savings. Um, but this shows you loving yourself and maybe even not realizing that you are better without them. It may have taken a long time and a lot of burden because there was a lot of love with the Ten of Cups here, um, you know, for that cycle of love to end, for you to maybe um, release it. I don't feel like, you know, you can ever, once you've been in love with somebody, that you can stop loving them in a certain way. Um, I feel like there's going to be always love for them. This person wants to return, though, uh, with the Nine of Cups here. They feel like you're the one for them now. The sun. Your answer might be yes. Some of you might be saying yes to this person. Uh, but some of you have seen the light, I guess, um, and do realise that you're better without them because you're working on yourself. Your fortune's ch turning around here. Um, in this relationship, how they view you has changed drastically. They've seen you as holding them back, you know, that they've wanted to be out having fun and there was better people out there or something. And now they're seeing, no, the grass isn't greener. Three of Wands. This is somebody communication coming in. Um, it is good news for some of you. Others of you, it might be good news about money. OK, if you've been working hard on a project and your boss is taking notice that you're working hard, you might get a pay rise or some sort of good news is coming in here. Some of you, it's good news that this person from your past is returning to you um, because some of you are saying yes with the sun. You waited for this change, this turnaround. You have improved yourself and you now know how to love yourself. Um, so there is this good news coming for you guys. For others of you who don't want somebody from your past, this is good news about money. Your fortunes are changing here. Two of swords. I just told, I think, Sagittarius, don't make big decisions at the end of the month, okay? For you guys, wait till it's a little bit closer um, in towards your birthday um, before making these big decisions things will line up in your favor if you wait even if you know this person comes back to you and wants to be with you maybe just wait a little bit because then the energy is better suited here because there's something you're not seeing so don't make huge decisions if you're thinking about somebody from your past um take the reading in which direction it resonates because it's a soulmate reading it can be either one of you here but i feel like you guys i really do feel like you've done the hard work here I really do, um, because of the true gem card, 
and I'm seeing like a diamond being formed and pressured and over time a lot of pressure maybe money pressures building up and now those money pressures going away this is like a wish come true for somebody um, so if you're wishing for your money matters to change that will change okay wheel of fortune here if you're hoping for or wishing for somebody to return to you that's what's going to happen here just don't make any big decisions until the end of month i guess we'll see in june what you guys decided good luck